Good day, brothers and sisters. This is the Daily Mana Extract for the 30th of November, 2021. Shall we pray? How most high God, we worship and bless your name for a time like this, a moment in your presence. We thank you, Lord, for the great and wonderful things you've been accomplishing in our lives. Thank you for your word you've brought to us at this time. We ask that you open our understanding. Help us, Lord, to be doers of this word. Word. Thank you, blessed Redeemer, because we believe you have answered. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. We are considering the topic, the greatest party ever. The greatest party ever. Text is taken from Revelation chapter 19, verse 6 to 10. And I heard as it were the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of mighty thundering, saying, Alleluia, for the Lord God omnipotent reign it. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him. For the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife hath made herself ready. And to her was granted that she should be arraigned in fine linen, clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. And he saith unto me, Write, Blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, These are the true sayings of God. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren, that have the testimony of Jesus, worship God. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. A key verse is in verse 9. And he saith unto me, Write, Blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, These are the true sayings of God. Preparing for banquets in the world takes so much out of people. Special dresses have to be acquired. The list of guests is carefully drawn up and huge financial resources go into providing food, drinks and general entertainment. Many consider it a great accomplishment to successfully host such a party. They go through so much trouble to host parties, but are not prepared to take part in the greatest party ever. This great event is the marriage supper of the Lamb. It is the occasion through which the Lord Jesus Christ will host the church, all believers that ever lived on earth in all generations. It will be ushered in by a vast crowd of worshippers and a mighty choir praising and worshipping God. The ceremony is described as the marriage of Christ to his bride, the church. It will be the most joyful occasion to the host of heaven and to the multitude of believers that will be qualified to attend. The bride is described as being attired in fine linen, clean and white, portraying the life of righteousness and holiness led by believers while on earth. Although many will be unprepared to meet Christ, some will in fact be found ready. It will therefore be the greatest honor and privilege for anyone to be invited to the banquet. The best part for believers is that Christ has provided all we need to be eligible to attend the great banquet. No one should disqualify himself by thinking he does not have what it takes to attract the heavenly invitation. All we need to do is to turn away from all forms of sinful conducts, embrace Christ as our Lord and Savior, live righteously, and depend on the grace of God to keep us ready for His imminent return to take us home. Thoughts for the day. A great feast is coming. We must not miss it. 
Amen. Throughout the scriptures, the picture of a bride has often represented God's faithful people. In fact, here in this passage, the bride is a picture of the church and the lamb is the picture is a picture of christ jesus redeemed believers are welcomed into heaven and they have the privilege of having union with christ forever today in the world when you dedicate your life to serve the lord when you give your all you give your talent you give your treasure you give everything to serve the lord the people of the world may term you with so many names they may think you're serious they may think why are you wasting your time why are you wasting your life serving a god you never see in fact many have argued you say jesus will come all day this why was it not come up to this time but i want to announce to you whether you believe it or not jesus is coming again in fact his coming is imminent in fact his coming is not just near but it is here christ will come again the messiah our redeemer will come again to take away the saints to meet the lord in the air and the bible says so shall we ever be with the lord before christ comes there is going to be various signs before he comes what shall be the sign of thy coming the disciples asked him in matthew chapter 24 verse 3 and christ gave in details what will be happening on earth shortly before his coming in matthew 24 verse 5 to 12 verse 30 to 39 he highlighted the various signs of his coming number one false christ will arise to deceive many unsuspecting believers we have them today he said there will be wars and rumors of wars there will be international wars there will be famine global economic recession there will be pestilences earthquakes in diverse places there will be persecution of christ's followers and some cases of martyrdom the emergence of many false prophets those are the signs of his coming there'll be backsliding from the faith on the increase before his coming more people will be given to pleasure and merry making than those seeking the lord the scripture also predicts the conditions that characterize the by the system of deniers of faith that will be prevalent with in the visible church shortly before christ returns there will be a denier of god there will be a denier of christ there will be a denier of christ's return there will be a denier of the faith of christian living there will be a denier of the authority of christ before he comes many will give up the faith many will become weak will become famished spiritually but the lord this morning is reminding us of that great events that will be unveiled a time of reward for the faithful saints that overcomes all the trials of the world a time is coming when the saints of christ the bride of the bridegroom will rejoice with the bridegroom at the marriage supper of the lamb it's going to be a great party it's going to be a time of great rejoicing a time of great celebration a time when we are going to celebrate the victory we have while on earth 
all the time of your consecration shall be rewarded all the time of your sacrifices shall be rewarded all the days the period you spent on earth living a holy life living a righteous life yes you see other people messing up them, themselves you see the way they live their life but you consecrate your life to the lord you made up your mind to live as the scripture had come commanded they may term you as a fool they may term you as unserious they may term you with many names but you consecrate your life to serve the lord during the marriage supper of the lamb you shall be rewarded by the lord therefore my beloved brethren be ye steadfast unmovable always abounding in the work of the lord for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. All the time you have spent serving the Lord shall be rewarded. The period, the years you spent consecrating your life to the Lord shall be rewarded. All the efforts you put in in saving souls for the Lord, preaching the gospel, sounding the alarm, it shall be rewarded. Seven years will be the period of the marriage supper of the Lamb. Simultaneously, while the saints are receiving rewards, while the saints are enjoying with the bridegroom and all those who have overcome the Old Testament saints, the New Testament saints, and we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the air to meet the Lord in the sky. So shall we ever be with the Lord. Seven years, this event we take place we will rejoice together with the bridegroom we will celebrate together with the bridegroom why that event is going on all those who we are careless all those who did not overcome all those who live secret life all those who live compromising life they will face the antichrist here on earth in the great tribulation why the saints are over over there with the Lord where we will be there rejoicing with the Lord celebrating with the Lord sinners backsliders all the hypocritical believers lying leaders all the deceitful workers who couldn't make it in the rapture will be on earth for that seven years facing the trauma facing all the trouble of the antichrist they will weep they will cry they will weep they will cry but there will be no solution. The great tribulation is a time of trouble. It's a time of pain and penury. It's a time of suffering and calamity. Seven years of this great trouble. Brothers and sisters, watch over your life. Are you sure the life you are living now? We earn you a ticket to be in that party that greatest party the marriage supper of the lamb are you living an hypocritical life are you living a life that is not according to the word of god is not according to the dictates of the scripture now is the time of salvation you can come to the lord today tomorrow may be too late there is no repentance in the grave now is the period of grace a time you can go to the lord for the grace of god that bringeth salvation has appeared to all men you can embrace the lord today you can embrace the savior today for there is no repentance in the grave whither thou goest today is a day of salvation as you come to god sincerely from your heart you are saying lord i surrender to you he will have mercy upon you and our god will abundantly pardon today as I lead you to the Lord, if you are not born again, you sincerely surrender to him. And the Lord will have mercy 
and we pardon you. Let's go before the Lord in prayers. Commit yourself to the Lord. I want to be in that great party. I don't want to miss the marriage supper of the Lamb for anything. Careless believers, we miss it. Hypocritical believers, we miss it. Lying leaders, we miss it. Hypocritical Christians, we'll miss it. Open your mouth and pray and say, Lord, hold my hands lest I fall. Give me the grace to follow you till the very end. Talk to the Lord in prayers. That Lord, I will be with you at the marriage supper of the Lamb. The marriage supper of the Lamb is a time of reward for the saints. I will be there. I will be there. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. Anything you need to jettison, any attitude, any character, any sin, any defilement you need to jettison, do it today before it is too late. The signs of the coming of the Lord is everywhere. We can see the signs everywhere. The Lord will soon come. His coming is here. It is here. Make up your mind. Whatever lifestyle that is contrary to the will of God, confess it today. Surrender to the Lamb. Surrender to the Lord today before it is too late. In Jesus' name we pray. If you are making up your mind today to surrender to the Lord, I want to pray with you and the Lord will accept you today. Repeat this from the bottom of your heart after me. Lord Jesus, I thank you for your word. You have reminded me once again of the urgency to my surrendering unto you. Lord, I surrender to you. I know I'm a sinner, but I want your cleansing. I want your purification. I want your washing. Lord, wash me and make me clean. Take away every sinful nature in me. Pardon me by your blood. Thank you because I know it is done. In Jesus' name, I pray. Father, Lord, I thank you for as many who have surrendered to you today. I thank you for those who have confessed their backsliding, confessed their sinfulness, those who have confessed their carelessness to you. Lord, I pray your mercy will prevail even this morning in the name of Jesus. Anything, Lord, that is making your people to always fall into sin, that sin that doth so easily beset them, I pray today they will have victory. Victory over the sin, victory over carelessness, victory over every form of evil. Grant unto your people even this morning in the name of Jesus. Our desire, Lord, is to be part partakers and to be guests at the marriage supper of the lamb help us lord that we shall overcome and be part of it to the glory of your name thank you blessed redeemer because we believe you have answered in jesus mighty name i pray amen the lord bless you